Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. A new update is actually out for this game. It's not a content update or anything like that, but it's a pretty big balance update. I'll put a link to the full patch notes down there in the description if you guys are interested. But some notable changes here. I mean, Diablo ended up getting nerfed. Lily, who we're going to be playing as in this video, ended up getting nerfed. Rexar, who I really enjoy playing, ended up getting buffed. They made it so he's better like as a character himself than his bear, Misha. They took a lot of her damage and moved it from basic attacks to her W ability, which is pretty interesting. They changed up a lot of characters. Malganus, for example, they also changed him up and nerfed him as well. So Malganus and Diablo ended up getting the nerf hammer, I suppose. But today, we're going to be playing as Lily. I've been meaning to play as her because she's one of my favorite support characters in this game. If you go and just look at my support characters, I mean, she's right here in my top five of my most played. And the reason why is because she is so freaking easy to play. She basically... She plays herself, right? She's incredibly powerful. She can shut down auto attack teams. And yeah, I mean, her abilities, they basically do everything for you. So her Q is going to be called Healing Brew. You basically press it. And then the ally that's nearest to you that has the lowest amount of health will be healed. That's pretty much it. You can't even control really who it goes to. It just heals whoever's near you that needs health. Your E, you basically send it out and it's going to blind the two nearest enemy targets and make it so they can't do any auto attack damage for 1.5 seconds. Like it automatically hits people and blinds them. She automatically heals people. It's a pretty easy character, right? Which is actually why she was nerfed with today's update. They found that she's really popular, especially in like the lower bracket of play, which is where I am, by the way. When I play ranked, I'm like a silver to gold right so i'm pretty low and in my little echelon of the player base Lily's very popular because she's very easy to play and as a result they ended up nerfing her maximum health her health regeneration they nerfed how much healing her q does and then they messed around with a couple of different talents like i think uh this talent right here was actually buffed but this talent right here was actually nerfed so <laughs> Basically, overall, they made her a little bit harder to play. She's not as good as she was before, but again, she's really freaking easy to play, which I'm going to be focusing on here in today's video. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump right into the gameplay. Is that the best skin we have? I think it's actually the best skin that we have here. She doesn't really have a ton of great skins. This skin's actually pretty cool, but if you're looking for like a proper mist weaver, kind of a monk feel, uh, she doesn't really have that many options. To be honest, I kind of like the white one. So we're going to go with the white and blue. And once again, guys, I'll catch you guys when the game actually starts Ready for adventure. all right ladies and gentlemen it looks like we're going to be heading to warhead junction which i can't lie is one of my least favorite maps in this game it's so freaking big and typically the team fights are so spread out but i like the team that we have here we have an arthas i always like to have an arthas with me we have a kalthos an abathur as well as an asmodan who's going to be very helpful negating the enemy team from actually getting the nukes on this map but on the opposing team we have the newly nerfed malganus along with an orphia an Ariel healing a chromie who's going to be a very pesky character character and then a gray main so i'm sitting here thinking how should i build lily i typically build her either into really healing as best i can or blinding the best i can if you're facing teams that have characters like gray main for example or rainer or illidan or any of the popular auto attack heroes building into lily's e make it so you can blind even more people and keep them blinded for longer you can basically shut down an entire team but to be honest i mean their team really isn't full of auto attackers. They're mostly actual ability users. Therefore, I don't think it's going to be in our best interest to really build too much into my E. We're going to have to wait and see how it plays out, I suppose. But here for the first talent, it really depends on what you want to do, right? If you want to build in your W, take one serpent. But I don't typically do that. What this actually does is you place a cloud serpent on allied hero that's going to attack enemies that are around him. And each attack is going to do damage and heal the ally for a little bit. You can build into that, but I typically don't. It's either the Q or the E for me personally. Let's give you old good luck, have fun here. And as a result, I think I may actually take Eager Adventurer because our trait is basically whenever we take damage, we end up moving a little bit faster and our cooldowns reduce um, or come off cooldown faster, right? This is going to increase that duration and also give us more mana regeneration. And I walked right into that. And it was also, let's go for the blind. There we go. Oh, okay, Kel'Thas. Let's just dive right on their entire team. <laughs> let's just dive right to the entire team. And he's going GG already. Oh, no. It's going to be one of those games, boys. It's going to be one of those games. But yeah, so that was that was recently buffed. Or actually, it was just buffed today. And so now we're going to have a lot more mana regeneration um, while we're taking damage, essentially. Which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and just put that on him right now. So that's going to automatically heal if it actually attacks. You little Cloud Serpent right there. And 
as you can see, the little, they actually, this wasn't a thing way back in the day, but the little Mistweaver monk symbol below Lily, that signifies that she's going to be the character that gets the healing from her Q. All right, let's go ahead and just put this on him. There we go. A little bit of damage. And yeah, so you see the little Mistweaver monk logo below Kael'thas. It means he's going to get the effects of my Q. You basically press it every couple of seconds, and that's essentially it. But I do hope that the team uh, relaxes here a bit. And just, like, <laughs> doesn't spurg out. Like, what are you guys doing here? Take it easy. All right. Oh, let's actually get up here and do a little bit of damage now. Or not. Okay, I'm going to toss it on you. Okay, he's, he's actually going to take the, um... He's going to take the Lighthouse, which is actually pretty smart. I mean, he's not got to worry too much about uh, about a, a Chromie. I mean, Chromie's annoying, but Chromie can't kill an Arthas. He can potentially annoy an Arthas, which appears to be working. Yeah, I was going to say, let's uh, let's do this here. And we go for the blind. I mean, yeah, Greymane, as you can see, Greymane basically just, he'll engage, and then he'll run away from Alili, because it's like, what's he supposed to do, really? I can just blind him. He doesn't really do any damage. And it's actually kind of funny. All right, let's escort. Oh, no, we're going to keep on going here for a bit. She's trying to lead us. That's fine. And let's put the W on him, so we'll do a little bit of damage and a little bit of healing. And, I mean, Chromie's going to try and, yeah, do that and hit us, but it's pretty easy to avoid Chromie, I would say. Go up here and get some heals off. But yeah, as you can see, she pretty much plays herself, right? I mean, she heals the people that are nearest to you that need healing, and she automatically blinds the enemy heroes that are near her. <laughs> That's just kind of how it goes. Now here, I like hindering wins is good. So we hit people with your E, it also slows them. Um, which I still may end up actually taking that, I think about it. Yeah, because I don't want to really build too much into the W. Um, we can activate our... Um, our trait to actually run a little bit faster, but I think slowing heroes as we blind them is going to be good because I have a feeling we're going to be fighting a lot on these objectives, especially when I have a character like Arthas, you know, who's actually struggling for mana. I'm just going to stand here and make sure we get the experience that we can get. Send him a, send him a little bit of a heal. Yeah, the Warhead's going to be active here soon. Actually, it's active right now. Wow. Are uh, they just going to let me have it? They may just let end up letting me have it. Now, he's going to dive in maybe. And we go for the blind, and we put that on him. And we're actually, with the slows and everything, we're actually able to do a decent amount of damage to him. Keep in mind, Lili is technically a ranged character. I have a, I'm doing ranged attacks right now. There we go! And between Arthas and I, we just bullied him down. <laughs> Very easy. Alright, so, he has a nuke down here. If you go ahead and nuke that, there you go. And then I'll drop my nuke on top of it, and we should be good. And there we go. Double nukes. We're getting bottom down pretty easy here. Like, the walls are going to be down. The actual fort itself is about down. And again, because I can blind these guys, I'm not really all that worried about them. Like, right now, he's blinded. He's not doing any auto attack damage. He just basically misses, does nothing. Um, my W doesn't really do a lot of healing unless, it's act unless you're actually near people to attack. So we have to try to avoid that pretty much. The good stuff is typically my go-to here. Let's go is a, by far a better ability. But again, whenever it comes to those cleanse abilities, I never get very good use out of them. So I typically take this, which is going to make it sort of Q. Also does a little bit of additional healing over time. So just more healing in general. I'm basically building into full-on heals here. And we may be able to bully him. Nope. All right. He's got too many friends. Let's go for the blind. And again, see the blind? Not doing any damage whatsoever. We put our W on on uh, Arthas, which means he's going to be getting a little bit more healing. Plus our Q's right here. We can basically just escort him everywhere. It's not going to be an issue. It's actually pretty hilarious, man. We're doing like all this healing right here. I'm just pressing Q. I'm not aiming it. There's no skill shot involved. I'm just, you know, let's put our W on him right there. Let's get this regen globe as well. So, yeah, I mean, she's a pretty easy character, which is why I understand that she ended up getting nerfed today. Um, their explanation, I think, was actually pretty good. She's really popular at lower ranks, which, again, is where I play. I mean, for crying out loud, when that first nuke came up, like, I was paying so much attention to the Arthas and what was happening around me that I didn't even realize they were actually up. I thought they were coming up. Like, <laughs> little moments like that just freaking mess up so much. But she's very popular at the lower ranks. Uh, buddy, I can't heal you for that much. All right, now we have the Avatar. You can heal a little bit more. And so I can see why they wanted to nerf her, because she basically plays herself, and she's so good against a lot of the very popular characters that you see at these lower ranks. Like, you guys know, we always end up playing uh, seemingly with a bunch of um, assassins, right? Especially in Quick Match, right? It's like 5v5 assassins all the time. I talk about it so much. Well, even in ranked and stuff, people tend to pick those auto-attack assassins and stuff quite often. And we're going to go ahead and blind these guys, or try to blind them anyway. 
Um, and as a result, Lili is very good at just countering that entirely. And buddy, you're, you're, he's cut off. He's cut off. And I can get this off on him. And I can go over here. I can go for the blind. There we go. And you see the blind. They just can't do any damage. You see how good and effective Lili can be. I don't even have to aim it. I just go near them and press a button. <laughs> it just saves them. It's so funny, actually. All right, let's give you this. Give you a little bit of healing. Help take down these fellas. We have an objective right below us. We can pop it up in 15 seconds. So I won't mess it up this time. <laughs> and we also have one above us here. It looks like... Yeah, he's coming down. We might actually... Nah, I mean, picking off a Mount Guinness is going to be hard. But we have an objective right here that we can try and get. I'm fine with trading objectives. I mean, that, that works out just as well as you know trying to get both, pretty much. Because getting both, you basically have to split your team and things don't work out very well. I'll just bully him away. And, all right, he's got the nuke. Now, Arthas is down there low. Let's see. Is he going to be able to contest? I'm on my way. We may actually... I think we're going to be able to get this again. Let's see. All right, now that I'm here, let's get that on you. And we're taking Jug with 1,000 Cups. If you take the other ultimate, you're wrong. Just objectively, you're always wrong if you take the other one. The other one's okay. It's Water Dragon. But, again, it's kind of like... It's a weird, like, DPS, like, hybrid... I don't like it. Uh, Jug with 1,000 Cups is by far the way to go. And we're going to go Sippy Cups already. As you can see, it's basically just a big old heal that you can channel. You can actually cancel it to get it back, so it actually has a much smaller cooldown. But I typically go to full length just to get the big heal off. It's kind of like... It's like a... You know, Tranquility... Oh, we might actually be able to get this. Oh, he's blinded. He, he doesn't realize he's blinded. Oh, that's what we'd be able to finish. Oh, the Flame Strike almost got him. But picture it to be kind of like... I feel like it's a better Tranquility. I think it's better than the Tranquility ult that Malphite Rain has. I might be wrong... Uh, the actual numbers are out there for sure. Uh, let's just go ahead and blind you guys. And just keep on moving. Again, when I take damage, I move a little bit faster. And see how, how much faster I am in general than like most other characters? It's actually pretty funny. Let's go ahead and just take a sippy right now. Get the health back. Get the mana back. I mean, I'm no pro Lili. But then again, it's not very hard to be a good Lili. I mean, obviously a good Lili is still going to be much better than a bad one. Same with every character in the game pretty much, right? That, that, that's a universal truth here in this game. Go for the blind. And let's get the W on him, just so he gets a little bit more of healing. And I'm not going to be able to blind a little, for, my, for a little while, so I can't really protect him that much. There we go. Now, I want to get my nuke off, but honestly, I can hold on to it. There's no sense in me uh, dropping the nuke for no reason, essentially, right? I can just keep on following people around and healing them. And me taking damage, let's go for the blind. Me taking damage actually gives me more mana regen after that one talent was buffed. Let's go for the big sippy. Just big sippy here, just in case. Make sure everyone stays alive. Oh, no, I'm sleeping. What am I going to do? Besides just blind you and put my W on him and basically just make sure everyone lives. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to make sure he's going to live through that. Oh, he actually gave up. He could have easily got that. We're going to go for the blind. He's going to live. He's going to live there because of the blind. You see that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Lili is so good. This is nerfed Lili, by the way. This is a nerfed character. <laughs> She's just so clutch. Go for the blind again. Uh, put the W on you. I'm going to try and keep close, but when I take damage, a good way to kind of counter Lili is, mind you, uh, unless you're using her ultimate, she can only heal one person at a time. So if you keep Lili's health below the health of her allies, she can't heal her allies, except for her W, of course. So that can be an issue. He's going to keep on trying to bully her. Uh, he's not going to be able to get it. You're not going to be able to get it, bud. Just keep on backing up. Let's get the W on you for a little bit of healing over time, as well as damage off on this fella. I mean, his healer's gone, so he's eventually going to have to retreat. And Malganus was also nerfed today. He may be setting up a bait. I don't like this. You know what I want to do, actually? How close are they right now? Because I already have my nuke. Okay, we're just going to drop this off now, and I'm just going to go ahead and blind you. You can't kill me. I'm not afraid of that Greymane at all. It's actually funny. It's actually funny how not afraid of him I am. <laughs> Um, this is going to make it so our E hits more people. I typically take that, but increasing the duration of it also seems pretty good. Oh, here we go. Let's go for the slow. That's going to slow him. <laughs> the E slowing is great. We're going to go for the increased duration, I think, for this game, because we're not really in these, like, giant team fights where I'm constantly trying to blind everybody. I only really need to blind... Oh, hello. Oh, gosh. Now, let's wait for it. You might be able to... I mean, she has me kind of, like, caught out right now. Uh, I, this might be me. This might be me dead. This might be me dead. Big Sippy and blind. Oh, I can't blind while we're big sippying. So we're just going to keep on big sippying. Look at the healing there, guys. Look at the healing. And now we go for the blind on you. We get the W on him. So he's going to take a little bit of healing over time. Look at that. Oh my gosh, she's so good. She's so good. Although, unfortunately, we have this all the way down here. And Chromie end up getting out. Okay, let's go for the heals on you. I already have the W on him, so let's heal over time. This is just their healer, man. She's not going to be able to do much. 
Yeah, she's gonna have. To oh, Gray Mane's here. Like, just blind to him. Oh, no, Gray Mane. Are you gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna bully me? <laughs> Seriously, I feel like with, lately he's just like this little Pandaren monk, and she just bullies, like, big scary characters like Gray Mane. It's actually kind of funny. But I'm actually starting to get a little bit low on mana here, because again, if you. She's a single target healer, except for her ultimate, right? So the best way to play against her is to spread the damage out. But even then, uh, she's still pretty good. <laughs> like, she's still pretty good. I like the idea of taking the Bruiser Camp right here. What? Oh, we have ourselves a Norphia here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get that camp. That's fine. Have a heal. I, I, like, I like healing the squishy characters like, uh, you know, like Kael'thas and Jaina and all them, Lee Ming even. Because it just, you, you heal so much of their health with like one button. It makes you feel like you're doing a lot more than you are. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, we're going to go for the pick. She's going to run away, guys. Uh, ooh. Yeah, she's going to still get away, but Greymane here. Now, we may have to go Big Sippies here. We'll see. And we're going to go Big Sippy. We're going to go Big Sippy. May not be enough. May not be enough. Yeah, not enough to be able to save everybody. But it's okay. And now we go for the blind, and down you go. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh. I like the idea of us backing up here just a little bit. So two for one is typically pretty good, but I don't know. Two for one or pick them up is typically the one I take, or pick me up, or typically the ones I end up taking. Um, I mean, healing twice as much, having a longer cooldown, I'm not sure how much I really like that. I like the idea of healing more on low health targets. If they're below 33% health, it's going to heal for 50% more. So it's not going to be helpful all the time. Typically, two for one is pretty good, but I just don't like the increased duration most of the time. But it also helps out with the idea of like having... Um, the damage being spread out because it heals um, the number of allies, but it increases the allies by two, which typically means you're going to heal yourself for a little bit and also healing them. Rarely does it actually work out, which is how damage spread works. Rarely does it work out they are going to heal two of your allies. Typically means you can heal yourself as well as other people. And we go for the slow. Ah, oh, he's got the escape. And it doesn't matter because of the Kobe. Very nice. Both talents are typically pretty good. You can honestly go back and forth between them. But... The big heals, the clutch heals while I'm after most of the time. And we go for the blind slash slow on him. Oh, we're, we're going to end up retreating. That's fine. That's fine. You can't heal uh, ultimates here. Like the ultimate evolution for uh, Abathur doesn't really work out that way. Is Abathur himself going to grab that? Oh, no. He's just down there. Okay, that's funny. They should be fine without me. So I'm going to really quickly go down here and grab this since I have you know free spot to grab it. They're on their way, but I'm not too worried. And then I'm going to go right up to Arthas. Actually, I might just want to help out here in this lane. Wish I can give you back mana. I'm not, I'm not Malfurion, though. And go for the blind. They're trying to get some picks here. Oh, and they did. And let's put our W on him. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. We're going to go for the big sippies. I'm going to try my best to help you, but you really need to stop heading towards them. And go for the double blind. You guys can't kill me because I'm Lily. <laughs> and also, Mikhail Thaw is helping me. I mean, honestly, focus anyone besides Lily. What was that? Thanks, guys. I mean, <laughs> you should have realized that they were, like, all converging on him, all ready just to murder his entire existence. Uh, I'm going to go over here towards here the nuke. I'm going to try anyway, unless somebody wants to show up and try and stop me. We have, like, pretty much everyone pushing bottom. So, real quick, just want to get this off. I hope that... I think that's going to hit that, that right, right there. Yeah, we're going to double nuke it. I like it. And go for the blind. Go for the heal. Put our W on just to get some preemptive healing off on Kael'thas, because he's very squishy. Gray man's gonna be coming in trying to get the kill. Ooh, I don't have my sippy. I don't have sippy, but I do have blind. I do have the uh, W. I got. I didn't get the W off. I did not get the W off. No, I can't. I'm trying to heal. Remember, we took that talent so he gets more healing when he's low. Oh, that's why we took the talent, boys. <laughs> it's actually hilarious, dude. Look at this healing. It's absurd. I love Lily. I love that. This is why she's my fifth most played healer, which sounds like I don't like her that much, but she plays herself. Like, I'm not, I promise I'm not even doing anything that impressive. I'm just pressing buttons. <laughs> now, typically here, I like to take, um, I, wait, shake it off at gain armor. She used to have a different talent here at level, oh, I'm a go, oh. 
Oh, that takes so long to come in. She used to have a different talent here at level 20 that was, like, insanely good. Miss Weaver, that's a new one. Actually, I haven't messed with that too much. Um, I'm going to be taking Jug of Thousand Cups here, which is going to heal two allies at once. If you guys don't know, it actually heals one ally. Uh, basically, the lowest health ally gets all the healing. It, like, jumps back and forth between, like, who has the lowest health and stuff. Uh, this is going to make it so my R is even better than normal, which is already really freaking good. So, that's going to be helpful. And let's go for the blind to slow down. Oh, it's hoping it'll slow him down a lot more. All right, now we go for Big Sippy. And as you can see, it's going to be healing to both of us. And just look at the healing. Look at the healing. We call this Sippy Cups. We always call, this, <laughs> we always call that Sippy Cups. My friends and I would play this game a lot of time. And that should be Gigerino, I would imagine. Um, I'm just able to see here. Oh, that's going to hurt me a lot, which means I'm going to be getting a lot of healing here. And we're going to put W on him. Oh, go for the blind. Go for the blind. I'm too late. I was too slow on the blind. We're going to have to keep on backing up here, boys. We're going to have to keep on backing up. It's at 8%. The minions might actually be able to um, get the core down. 3%. Minions. No, they actually survived it with 3%. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. If I was doing more more freaking damage there, we would have actually gotten it. Um, we want to try. Oh, we're going to try and back Doris. We're going to snake it. Oh, he's going to Kobe it. He's going to keep on kobe the core. I see. And 2%. 1%. And... Oh, come on. We're stuck at 1%. Kobe. He's not going to go up there and try and Kobe it. It's at 1%. Oh. I'm waiting for I'm following it. We're going to watch this Kobe. We're going to watch the game. We're going to watch the game winning splash. Here it comes. All right. That's going to lower it. We got to keep on lowering the shield down. He can get it. He can get it. Oh, come on, dude. Come back. He's got to wait for his... Oh, the minions got it. That's not as fun. That's not as fun. <laughs> it would have been way more fun if he just... Kobe! <laughs> he just dumped on it. And... Yours truly. 42% healing done. You just press Q whenever on cooldown. It's not hard. <laughs> it isn't hard. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why she was nerfed today. Give it to Yarthus. Give it to your tank, your healer, guys. Encourage more people to play support and warrior. But uh, that's why she was nerfed today, guys. Uh, in the lower rank play, I mean, she has counters, obviously, like most characters. Um, and she's not the end-all, be-all of healing. But you can see how she can snowball out of control in the right situation. Um, Gray Mane was a virtual non-factor. I mean, even though he led their team in damage, he wasn't able to really do much, you know? And the healing was just so hard to beat, especially with, like, an Ariel there. That's not a good map for her because people... Her name's Boomhauer, by the way. I love that. Uh, King of the Hill is one of my favorite shows of all time, for sure. I, I literally watch it almost every night still. Um, it's one of those comfort shows for me. You guys have that, like, a comfort show that you watch. You've seen every episode, like, 30 times, but you don't care. You, you still watch it, you know, maybe when you're going to sleep or whatever. I try on King of the Hill on, now that it's back on Hulu. I watch that quite a bit. But uh, because everyone's so spread out on that map a lot of the time, Ari, it's hard to get, you know, full effectiveness out of Ariel's heals. Whereas Lily, I just followed around the Arthas the entire game, pressing my Q, and <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it wasn't very hard. Um, but yeah, uh, there's lots of different ways you can actually build into her uh, what's actually a straight up Levi here um, I, pick your poison when it comes to the town some people like the W build I really don't I've never personally liked it like just building into making your W better and better it, it was fine as is like as a default ability it's okay you know, you, you put a Cloud Serpent on an ally that attacks nearby enemies and each attack does damage and heals the ally and it lasts for 8 seconds you know it's a nice little heal. They can put on somebody when they're either, you know, trying to escape or they're going into a fight or what have you to kind of supplement the healing from your from your Q. But uh, aside from that, you just basically build more into your Q with different talents and stuff like that. And um, just pick based on the team. I mean, sometimes if there is a bunch of auto attackers, like if they had a gray main and a Vala, for example, you know, those are popular characters, especially in the lower tiers, um, build more into your E. Right, just straight up build more into your E. Like, make it so your blinding wind slows, which I did take that. That's very nice. And then um, after that, you take your talents here where you can blind e even more people. If it's a big team fight map or lots of things are happening, you can just blind them. It deals less damage, but it's going to hit three heroes potentially and make it so they all do no auto attack damage, which is pretty nice. And just do it that way. I mean, you don't even have to really focus so much, I suppose, on building into your E as much as you do just pick talents that are good for the particular fight that you're going into. You know, um, just make sure you 
pick and choose between two for one. Do you want the longer cooldown on your Q, but to heal two people at once? Or do you want to be able to heal people who are at lower health? Because that really depends. If you're in more one-on-one -on -one situations, which we were on that map, I mean, pick me up was the right choice, which is why I took it. But, you know, two for one could also be very good as well. But there's always a bunch of talents as well to build into your W. Um, almost always, I recommend Jug with 1,000 Cups. Um, almost always. Uh, the cooldown of it, we would get decreased, essentially, if you cancel it. It's a channeled ability, right? So, it's cooldown by default, it says 20 seconds. You think to yourself, like, holy crap, you can do that every 20 seconds? That's absurd, but it's only 20 seconds if you basically activate it, then cancel it immediately. Uh, if you go the full duration, it's a pretty long cooldown, um, all things considered. But Water Dragon, I mean, I just I never really liked it that much as a talent. You rarely see people ever, you know, when people take Water Dragon, they typically build into their Wind Serpent and Water Dragon just to go full on with the theme. And it just never seems to be as good as just straight up building into your Q or your E. And then, of course, just taking Jug of a Thousand Cups and being basically not... not <laughs> Let's call it what it is, an autopilot healer. I mean, you look at the other support characters in this game, and... Uh, I mean, a lot of them involve skill shots, actually placing your Q on targets, like, you know, with Uther, or placing down your W, or keeping your Q up on a bunch of different characters at once with Malfurion, or, you know... Not with Lily, you just press buttons. <laughs> it just kind of happens. I always forget to do this. I always, like, stop the recording and then realize I have a loot box. And then think, I should have put that in the video. But honestly, the loot boxes in this game, they're all pretty they're all pretty trash here in this game. You don't typically get anything that good. Which is why it's not really that big of a deal. But I probably show it to you guys anyway. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you guys here in this video. New update. Uh, definitely looking forward to it. I may want to try out Diablo here. I don't think I've actually done a video as him uh this is more of a feminine look honestly uh for diablo this is the prime evil diablo that's regular diablo but this skin really freaking good but they nerfed him all they did really though is they increased the cooldown of his q and his e by one second which as you guys know a second is an eternity in a game like heroes of the storm so they made him a little bit worse but I may do a video as him. I play a lot as him, but I'm not particularly good as him. He was the first warrior I ever got up to master. He was like the first warrior that like, kind of got me into tanking here in this game. So maybe we'll do a Diablo video here soon. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, Lily, very freaking good. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop me a rating. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.